from historic Fenway Park in Boston, Massachusetts, we've got a perfect night for baseball on the show. It's the Cleveland Guardians and the Boston Red Sox. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about to get started. And today's starting pitcher, Cooper Criswell. With the height, the release point creates a lot of tilt on his pitches. So coming into the zone, really hard for the hitters to get on plane. Makes it very difficult for the hitters to guess. All right, ready to go here. So in now for Cleveland, Stephen Kwan. So ready to roll here at Fenway. And that one missing low. One ball, no strike. Gets the call and a count one and one. That's to third. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. He decides to eat it, and they can't get the out. Here's Andres Jimenez. Swing and a miss. Here goes the runner. Drill to right, way back there, and that is gone. A gigantic blast. His first homer of the year, it's 2-0. Singy, he's been waiting for this moment to finally come. Well, we knew it would come eventually, and I wouldn't be shocked to see him going a nice little run at the plate, hitting some balls out of the ballpark. He's got that monkey off his back. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Here's Jose Ramirez. Ball for a strike. It's 0 and 1. It can be one tough strike. to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. Nobody out with a pair of runs across in the frame, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Woo. Next offering is in for a strike. All right, now he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. That one ripped right center field, and that's going to roll to the wall. And that's a double. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. As soon as that one shot off his barrel, he was thinking extra bases. Really nice job of getting the bat out front, but not hooking around it or rolling over it. Just kept the swing on plane and smoked that thing into the gap. And now it's Josh Naylor. In there at the knees, going one. Ramirez at second with nobody out. And right back to the mound. Gets it to first. Finally gets the first out here on the grounder. Here's the Guardians lineup now. The challenge for him today, Singy, elevating the baseball against this sinker baller that's on the mound. Yeah, that's the challenge, but it also might affect the way they approach base running in this one, Boog. You get a runner on first, you anticipate trajectory down, and when the ball's in the dirt with a good secondary lead, you break for second. So whether it's a stolen base or not, you stay out of the double play, get that runner in a scoring position, and that can help you put more runs on the board. B-I-D, ball in dirt.
Here comes the 01. Just missed. Criswell throws over. Ramirez dives back in safely. Still only one out here in the inning. And a pitch. And that's off the inside edge. Two balls, two strikes. Man at second. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. The pitch. Get on the ground to the right side. And he handles it himself for the out. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit. Hit the ball on the ground. Kill some worms while you're at it. And now it's Esteban Florio. He's given up a couple of runs, but the pitch count really not as high as you would think. Might be able to get through this one under 25 pitches. And that's off the inside edge. And it's one and oh. Right-hander kicks deals. In the air, left field. Has this one sized up? Makes the grab, and that's the inning. <laughs> Cleveland with a pair on this blast. And it's two zip. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Fenway, and pitching in this game, Tristan McKenzie. Well, just a three-pitch mix in his arsenal, which, you know, it's not a lot for a starter. So always very important for him to have a good feel and command all three. Sometimes you can make that three look like four if you add or subtract a little bit of velocity on one. But, you know, one thing about it, it can be Reading easy off. to get too predictable out there on the mound. So hitters are aware of that. Hitter. Mixing those three pitches at all counts is going to be a big key for him in this one. As he turns on the rubber and with that good live arm delivers and there's the strike well after scoring runs this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning get that hot team back in there to swing the bats fouled off to the right Chases that one. And that's the first out. Well, oh, really went aggressive in with that slider. Good two strike pitch right there. At worst case scenario, it's weak contact in play. Exactly where he and the catcher wanted it. Will your Abreu batted with one down takes a strike. One down, base is empty. Close one doesn't get the call. And a count even one and one. And another ball. Two balls. One straight. One out. Base is empty. And there's a foul ball. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark, you're a little late, opposite field now. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Now, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two or three run homer. 
Masataka Yoshida now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Two down, nobody on. Fouled off left side. First two hitters get punched out on strikes. Take some notes from the dugout. When you get your chance, go up there and hit the ball hard somewhere. And he deals. Got him. Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. Nothing doing for Boston. They trail things here to nothing. And we're back here at Fenway Park. And now the catcher comes up to him. David Fry. The why to kick the pitch. Swings through that one for strike one. No ball. One strike. Hit hard on the ground is short. Gathers and throws the first. And quickly one away in the second. So up next, Gabriel Arias. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. That one missed. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond, and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. Next pitch is outside. Base is empty one away here at the top of the second. That one out to right. And it hops over the wall for an automatic double. Well, this tends to happen more often in this park than others, and that short fence is just so inviting for hitters. You see a lot of balls bounce over for an automatic double when no one can run it down. One out, runner at second. Here's Brian Riccio. The shortstop takes the ball. One ball, no strike. One out, and a runner at second. Swings and sends a rocket to right. Abreu pulls that one down, and there's two away. Here's the Cleveland leadoff hitter, Stephen Kwan. Reached on an infield single his first time. That one drifts inside. There's a strike. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat. Drive in that run. You may not have another runner in scoring position the rest of this ballgame. In the air, left field. Yoshida puts it away, and that'll do it. Guardians lead one. They're up 2 nothing. Fenway Park, bottom of the inning. So here's Boston's cleanup hitter, Tristan Casas. McKenzie back to work. Curveball drops in there. Right through there for a strike. Clyde Washington with home plate duties in this one. A little bit of a low zone boot from Clyde. Nothing crazy, though. Pitchers 
that work consistently down around the knees and are able to command their off-speed stuff tend to have some pretty good success with him back there behind the plate. Kicks and fires. Got him looking as the fastball runs back over the inside corner. That was just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. Bobby Dahlbeck in the box now. No balls and a strike. The Guardians up by two. Bottom half of inning number two. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. Oh, All on there. That's the third. Toss to Naylor. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. That is good. The second baseman. Here's the second baseman. Way high. No strike. Next That's offering down in the dirt. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Two outs. And foul ball. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Sidane Rafaela waiting to bat for the Red Sox. Outside, and that is ball four. Well, two out walks are never good, especially when you're trying to get back into that dugout. But he's still in a good spot. He's just got to refocus and deal with the bottom of this order. And next for the Red Sox, Sidane Rafaela. Late on that fastball. In the on-deck circle, on. you really want to use that opportunity to see some pitches and time up the fastball. Last thing you want to do is miss a good hittable fastball early in the count. And it's through for a hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Batting it. The catcher. Here's Reese McGuire. And that's in there for strike one. That one at the knees for a strike. Man, I'm pretty impressed out there on the mound right now. I mean, these are tough spots where pitchers really got to bear it out. Those last two pitches were well executed. Oh, and two now. Popped up. And that will end the inning. No runs, a hit, two left. We play two full. It's the Guardians two and the Red Sox nothing. Back now at Fenway. New inning getting started. Stepping up for the Guardians, Andres Jimenez. The right hander back to work. Wouldn't chase that time. In the air, right field. Obreu sizing this one up. Puts it away for the out. 
now batter. The designated hitter. Now it's Jose, Jose Ramirez. Doubled in his first A.B. Oh. And ball one. And another ball. They get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. That one misses. Three balls, no strikes. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. And there's the automatic. Base is empty one away. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. The first base is number 22. Here's Josh Naylor. Grounded out his first time up. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Just missed. And Naylor swings through that one. Man at first, one away. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, there he gets the slider in on his hands, and it just eats him off. You know, it's hard to get the bat around on a pitch like that in tight. You just feel like you're crowded on the inside part of the plate. Can't get any extension. That's what he definitely should have laid off of. Loriano comes up to hit. 0 for 1. He grounded out to first his last time. Checks over to first. Back safely. Run around the goal. There's a ball. And that's a stolen base. Not even close. Well, he picked over once just before the pitch to check on him, but that didn't seem to slow up his jump on the pitch at all. I think that guy's been studying some video. Awesome job to be prepared. Got the timing down, and he gets in the scoring position. Ramirez at second with two down. Righty to the plate. And that one is inside. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Rafaela has a beat on it. He makes the grab. And that is that. One left for the Guardians. But they hold the 2-0 lead. Set for the bottom of the third and stepping in for Boston, David Hamilton. And the right hander back to work. That one finds the zone. Strike one. The shortstop takes the ball. Bunting for a hit. Has to barehand it to first. And he gets him. Nicely done. Smooth play on the barehand there at third. That was nice. So the Red Sox lineup turns over. 
And next is the designated hitter, Jaron Duran. Right through there for a strike. The Red Sox down by a pair here in the last half of the third. And that's a little bit high. Swing and a high fly ball left field. Florial pulls it down and there's two gone. Now back, right field. Now the number two hitter, Willier Abreu. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. Pitch misses, and that is ball one. Evidently not too impressed with that call, and it feels like he got squeezed on the outside corner, so he's making his case. You've got to be careful to pick your spots in terms of showing your frustration with the umpire, and he felt this was his time. There's a strike. And he takes a strike. Left hand batter waits. Headed down the line. Florial drifts towards it, tries to make the play, but it's foul. Two outs, bases empty. That's down and in. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. Down in order, go the Red Sox. And they're down 2 nothing. Out of the fourth. So in now for Cleveland, Esteban Florial. The wind of the pitch. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. You know, these Guardians showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. Here's a one-two. Out to center. Coming on. Makes the grab. Tracks it down after the long run. And there's one down. Still relatively early, but with a pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set him up to do more damage later in this game. Fry stands in now and watches strike one. Swing and a miss. Chases in the dirt, slider there. Gets the out, two down after the strikeout. That's that classic wipeout slider below the zone right there. Just nasty. Looks like a fastball thigh high that you got to protect the zone, and then it's just that late break that fools you and kind of makes you look silly. Gabriel Arias digs in for the Guardians. That smash towards center. Rafaela settles under it and makes the catch, and that'll do it. Guardians fail to score, but they're on top 2-0. Here in Boston. Now the left fielder, Masataka Yoshida. And the pitch. 
Off the plate inside, ball one. You know, these Red Sox just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Just off the outside edge, and it's 3-0. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Casas in the box for the second time. One ball, no strikes. Line drive into center field. That'll fall for a hit. Loriano hustles to get it in. Rudder stops at second. And the first two reach to start the inning. Oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. That could be a dangerous pitch if you don't get it inside enough because as a hitter, you see it coming across the plate the whole way. No problem handling it and putting a good swing on it that time. And there's one thing on his mind, this at bat, getting that first hit at the big league level. Pitch misses, ball one. So the tying run at second. Close one, doesn't get the call. And the count is 2-0. It's a slider for a strike. Kicks and deals. Three balls. In the dirt. Runners hold tight, but it's a full count now. Three, two. Base hit. They won't test it here. Bases loaded, no outs. Bobby Dahlbeck with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen, and when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you worked to get here. Now it's the second baseman. He reached out a walk his first time. That misses. And that's ball one. All loaded up. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Fought off foul. They need a strikeout. And you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up something, but you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. Red Sox with a chance to tie it up. But I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Makes the catch one down. That at bat is a positive sign, even though it probably doesn't feel like it. He hit the ball hard, but it doesn't always work out in your favor. Sometimes a defender is there to make a play. And now the center fielder, Sidane Rafaela. And he's already singled in this game. That one ripped, but foul. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. Deal one. 
Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Huge strike out there. Well, that pitch wasn't even close to being a strike, and that just goes to show you how defensive hitters can become when they're up against an 0-2 count. You're just hoping for a mistake somewhere near the zone that you can get the bat to, but right there, he was clearly anxious. He was swinging when the ball left the hand. Here's the catcher, Reese McGuire. 0 for 1 with a fly out. First pitch, and he just misses. One ball, no straight. Right through there for a strike. And that one fouled off. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Two outs. Got him swinging. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Ready now for the fifth inning. And now the shortstop, Ryan Rocchio. Ryan Rocchio. The pitch. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. The 0 2. Good job to fight that one off. And here it comes. In the air, right field. Abreu settles underneath it, nabs it, and there's one down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite yeah, barrel it up enough to really drive it. Now it's the right fielder, Stephen Kwan, one for two. Sinker gets the bottom of the zone, and that's a strike. On the ground, right side. Tosses to first, and that is out number two. Now back, second base. Andres Jimenez digs in now. He's already homered here in this one. And it's fouled away. And a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Just missed the inside corner. One and two to count. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Two outs. Popped in the air, left side, and that's a foul ball. Next offering misses down and away. Two balls, two strikes. And okay. it's filled up. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. And the right hander deals. And there's Thank ball you, four. 
Well, he's starting to look a little gassed to me, and we'll see if they go to the bullpen in this spot or not. Now it's the DH, Jose Ramirez. Pickoff move to first, the minutes. Back easily. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Boots it. And no shot to get him at first. There's two aboard. So now it's the full hole hitter, Josh Naylor. Oh. And downstairs. What a note. First and second, two down. Two on, two outs. And another ball. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. And the righty deals. That one the other way. And that's a fair ball. And that rolls into the corner. One run is in. Around third. The relay. Close play, but in there. And it's 4-0. He went up there and got it with two strikes. I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where you could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there coming back in that at bat. And now Alex Cora is out of the dugout, and he will make a move for the bullpen. Cooper Criswell out of the game, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. So out of the pen comes the right-hander, Garrett Whitlock. He's making his fourth appearance of the season. Here's Ramon Laureano. Fastball in for a strike, and it's 0-1. Foul ball. Runner at second, two down. And we're at the top of the fifth. Caught him looking for the K. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two run double. It's now a four nothing ball game. in Boston. Here's the shortstop at the play. David Hamilton. McKenzie back to work. Right through there for a strike. You know these Red Sox finding ways to get on base but they still need help driving them home. They only have one hit with runners in scoring position so a lot of squandered opportunities. It's tough because those are moments you just can't get back. The shortstop takes the ball. And a pitch. Center field. Loriano flashes the leather on the run and catch. Now battle. The designated hitter. 
So the batting order turns over. Durant. Joe stepping in for Boston. Jaron Duran. And first offering is fouled off. On the ground right side. And he takes it himself for the out. The bat, the right fielder. Last out for the Red Sox in this one. And now, Willier Abreu, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. That catches the outside corner, and that's strike one. Backdoored him with a breaking ball, just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. Sends it to center, and that's going to do it. And that'll do it. The Guardians get a shutout on the mound. Well, you win this one four to nothing, and it feels like you could have exploded for more offensively, but you also realize that at times it was hard to score. So you get out of here feeling good about this win. Ultimately, there was great pitching and defense to keep that other team off the board. You always feel good about a win like this. A four nothing shutout in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.